and my capstone project is Digital Otter 115 Fundamentals of Data Analysis. And <coughs> it is part of the Digital Otter project at CSUMB that is replacing technology tools CST 101, which is a four unit class uh, with individual one unit online classes that cover specific topics, um, taught in tech tools that are, um, and this one is data analysis. <coughs> so the problem, incoming students at CSMB need tech skills, to need to possess certain tech skills to achieve success in their coursework. <coughs> Since the tech tools class is no longer a requirement, a void is open that the digital audit project is addressing. Incoming, oh, sorry. So the target audience is freshmen and transfer students, and in a needs analysis, MIST students interview instructors and department chairs across campus, and the results confirmed that a, a gap exists between new students' perception of their technical skills versus their actual technical skills. Transfer students are only slightly better off than freshmen. So CSUMB faculty have a strong interest in the gap being addressed, and students have data analysis uh, skills when they come into their classes. Um, it can save class time and just help them achieve success as they work through their coursework at CSUMB. So the solution is the Digital Otter Project. My part of that project is a one unit online course that teaches fundamentals of data analysis. The course is designed to be self-paced and with a focus on updatable academic content so that technology tools like spreadsheet programs as they evolve over time, the course could be updated. Learning theories are used, included Vygotsky theory, where assignment examples are provided and video tutorials are provided that show the students what to do. And <clears throat> I used constructivism where they create spreadsheets as they work through the modules. And Using iLearn, which is an online learning management system, I created 11 modules, and each module includes an assignment page that has a web page listing learning objectives and an assignment and links to video tutorials. CSUB has an agreement with Atomic Learning where if you're a current CSUB student, you automatically have an Atomic Learning account, and so and it uses single sign-on, so it's very convenient to use that in these modules. And the first module is introductory and concludes with a quiz. I was able to do a usability test on this module in the summer class, and 12 CSUV students uh, test drove the module, and it, <coughs> excuse me, students uh, showed statistically significant improvement in their pre-test and post-test scores after having taken the module. Um, the remaining 10 modules present a scenario to be solved using data analysis functions in a spreadsheet program or Google Docs spreadsheets. And included in modules two to 12 are sample assignments and a Dropbox to submit the assignment document. And now I'll show you the actual course. So this is Digital Otter 115 here. We have instructions on how to work through the modules and atomic learning instructions, but uh, there's a link provided and directions for logging in, but <coughs> pretty much once they're in the modules, they just click on the links and it takes them right, right into it. So I'll show you that. Show you module one. This is the one I did a usability test on. So there's stated learning objectives, uh, a required article that just shows uh, or just gives you a basic layout of what data analysis is, and then an optional article, and then three required videos just an Excel, a Google Docs, and a SPSS, just introductory information. And then the students take the, the module one quiz. It's just a 10 question quiz. And so that was module one. And each module has a title and listed objectives. And I'll show you module eight. This is an assignment page. Again, the objectives are stated at the top. This is the scenario. You're computing the mean, median, and mode for 
statistics for nine baseball players, so I, I provide this, the data for them to copy into a spreadsheet and then compute. This is just a fun video to show, to explain what mean, median, and mode is. And these are the modules. So, for example, you just click on one of the modules and all those little sign you right, sign you right in. The median is often calculated when a set of values has one or more. So that, that's the convenience of the single sign on, it's just built into the functionality. So, um, finishes with the module where you learn how to format and print out spreadsheets. Impact is uh, oops. <clears throat> so impact is contributing to the digital otter project and to student success at CSUMB. And <clears throat> in conclusion, the challenges included um, limited access to subject matter experts and. Um, so we, we, had, we were connected with faculty who provided us with information, but at a certain point they were no longer available to us, so we had to do a lot of research on our own. Fortunately for me, unlike John, data analysis, has there's a wealth of material available on the internet to use to teach data analysis, so I was able to tap into that, especially with the atomic learning modules. And time management is key. I benefited greatly from an ambitious timeline for the Digital Audit Project that had us producing modules before most of the students in the cohort, so I was a little ahead on that. And I just want to thank all the staff, faculty, and students in the NIST program. And um, any questions? Oh, I want to thank my boss, Petra Valenzuela, in the back. I didn't see she <laughs> came in. She's the one when I first approached her that I was wanted to do this master's program. She's been very supportive the whole time. So thank you, Petra.